and that he needed medical help, and it wasn't there. New demands to do something about Cleveland ambulance delays exposed by the I-team. Last weekend, Darlene Cook watched her father die in a medical emergency as she waited 17 minutes for an ambulance. A family waited 16 minutes for EMS as a teen struggled to breathe. And in August, Patrick Colvin waited 14 minutes. He later died at the hospital. Now, council members asking hard questions, just as I-team reporter Peggy Gallick and I heard when we met Darlene. There is an issue, and if they would have been here, and my father might be alive today. There is an issue in it with ambulances. And I'm concerned about a report that came out um, uh, yesterday from Ed Gallick talking about our EMS response time. Councilman Joe Jones spoke up at a hearing. So did Councilman Mike Polenzik. I am greatly concerned. Um, not only about the staffing levels in EMS, but also the response time. And we gotta fix it, okay, thank you. City safety officials say they're doing all they can to hire more paramedics. Day after day, Cleveland runs short on ambulances, not enough paramedics. So the city shuts down units that could answer your calls. But despite delays we've uncovered, listen to the safety director. We have suffered no loss of life due to a lack, due to a lack of response. Now, you know, when you're in an emergency situation, time seems like it's, just, it's, it's, it's right. going for a really long time. You should know in the delays we revealed, the I-team computed response times from dispatch records. We looked at the times the calls came in and when ambulances arrived on scene. And records show no units available for both calls last weekend with long delays. For days, we asked City Hall to have someone answer questions on camera. We got silence. Darlene wants change. They need to do something about it. We need more ambulances. We need more help. Ed Galley, Fox 8, I-Team.